In this video, I'm going to compare OEM to Morimoto, um, specifically the red lens, because I know that some people uh, have not seen them side by side. Um, so I just wanted to show you, we have a 17 to 19 Super Duty halogen with bliss taillight. We have a 20 to 22 halogen with bliss taillight. You can see that their shape is a little bit different. Here we have a full OEM LED, um, same blind spot and stuff, but uh, you have the uh, running lights and full LED brake lights. And then on the left, we have the Morimoto tail lights, which fit all of these, uh, even the base models. Um, they come with all the um, different connectors that you would need for them to be plug and play. So I will compare the 17 to 19 Halogen with Bliss because they are the most similar. Um, I don't have the full OEM LED for 17 to 19 in stock right now. So when you have them side by side, you can really tell that they very closely mimic the blind spot of the 17 to 19. The more metal, the full LED system has a running light around the perimeter and um, the turn signals are in here. It's this triple bar. So if you're thinking about upgrading, the Morimoto is not much more expensive than OEM. If you, let's say, got into an accident or cracked one of them, you can upgrade to Morimoto for not too much more than what you'd be spending for um, OEM. And of course, the Bliss module goes in behind here. That way you retain all of your features. Um, and showing them side by side, you can tell this is like kind of like a red smoked, but it's a really nice color. I actually prefer this over the um, full smoked set. It's kind of like an OEM Plus kind of style. And then moving on to 2020 to 2022 Halogen with Bliss. You can tell that they, the 2020 newer, the Bliss section, is, which is the blind spot, is much larger um, on the newer trucks. Still um, plug and play. And there's your turn signal right there, reverse light down here. So that is side by side for that. And then this is um, actually a very common swap. You wouldn't think that people would go from the full OEM LED to these, but when you price out a set, like just this one tail light before the modules is $900. Um, and you can get the set of Morimoto for 700. So you can get a different look, you can get these in smoked. So um, it's definitely a good option if you, let's say we're backing a trailer and you crack your tail light the longer you wait to replace, the more electrical issues you can have. And when water gets into this and gets into that blind spot sensor, you have to replace that, which is around 300. So it's definitely a good option to consider um, if you're wanting to upgrade, but not go too crazy. Like I said, these are similar to OEM. 2017, 2019, they have that um, DRL going around, whereas um, in 2020, 2022, the DRL is just right here. These are the brake lights and um, turn signal and reverse light. I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the few options that we have in stock uh, at the shop right now and compare them to OEM. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out austin at squareoneoffroad.com. You can go to the website and do, uh, you can hit contact us and it'll pull up right there. Or you can message us on Instagram or Facebook. We are very active on there and we are happy to help. Thanks.